What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you the haul that I pulled from the Philly show, the 80th anniversary, which it's not really 80. They do two a year. They do one in May. They do one in October. So because there's two in every year, it's only really 40 years, but it was the 80, 80th anniversary. They made a big deal for it and they actually gave out some really great stuff. So let's get into this because this video is probably going to be longer than I want it to be because there's just a lot. Listen, I spent money and stuff. Good talk. Let's flip this around. All right. So we have metal cards. We have metal cards. Why do we have two sets of metal cards? Because it was they would give away two per family on the special ones and everything else. It was me and the wife. The wife does not care. I do. So she just gives this stuff to me. So let's set this down. Let's lift these up. These are metal. I don't know if you can tell, but they are metal. They're rounded. There's this one here. This was given away at the dinner, which I think is pretty cool. And they're like doubled. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like two plates stuck together. But that's what that is. Next is the anniversary, which this is the dinner card. You can see it right here. So there's that. This was given away at the dinner, and there was also a promo pack for that. Uh, let's see here. It would have been... It would have been the rest of... What was in here, this is done by Ted Dastic. It's an atomic. How would I have it the right way? There we go. I had him sign it right there because I just think that's cool. But anyways, that was the promo pack that came with it. So those were the dinner cards. And then Saturday, if you were there, they had these. These are metal too. And li Listen, listen. Y'all know these are amazing. These are very sought after right now. But anyways, I have... Those four with the two because it's, you know, that's from one day. And then obviously these would be from the other one. So, yes, I have two sets of these. Good talk. Let's move those over. Here is Adamversary. This would have been the promo pack for Saturday. And there's a bunch more cards in here. Same thing with this one. This These are cards. These are not um, plates like the other ones are metal. And then there's, wait, I lied. I think one Saturday, one Sunday. Listen, listen, I think the Billy Blasts were Sunday. These were Sunday. These were the packs that they gave away on Saturday. And those were just for the show. Anyways, moving on. Sal, I seen him on uh, live. We ended up talking to him for a second. Somebody was there at the show after the dinner. It was Brian Siegel was there. Listen, Brian Siegel is a signed artist now. He is just hilarious. Awesome guy to meet. Great guy to hang out with. Uh, I think he was talking with Sal and I was, somebody, Sal had mentioned that there was the card of him out there. So of course I had to go get it. So I got that. While I was out, I got this and this is signed by Big Adam, Adam Edwards, I do believe it is. And he's a recently signed Tops artist. Uh, Robert Cash had came up to me and he was like, hey, there's a card over here. You might want to come check this out. And it was that one. Yes, an 80th Philly non-sports card show sketch by Big Adam, Adam Edwards. So of course I had to go grab that. You guys know me for that. Speaking of Robert Cash, hold on, okay. We had a trade. He got a um, numbered dead, dead Ted card I forget which online set that came out of, but I know that was his favorite card, so there was that one, and I think a license plate uh, card for it. So anyways, I offered him a trade, and he said, here, you take this, you take these food fight packs, and this, inst this silly CDs collector cards things for them cards, and I said, yes, absolutely. He was happy, I was happy. Thanks again, Robert Cash for the trade and hanging out and just being an awesome guy, being a so chauffeur for uh, for Bobby B when he needed it. That was that was awesome. We appreciate it. Us in the community, we're awesome. Got this card for a dollar, and the only reason I got it is because if you look, let's see if I can get it. Do you see above the knife? I think those are dust specs, but I couldn't tell if it was dust specs or if it was the start of the squiggle. You know, the wavy thing that makes it an error. So anyways, I had to pick that up. Let's keep this moving. So, while I was at one of the vendors, 
I seen they had Food Fight Fat Packs. Picked up two of those. Food Fights were 10. These were 15. I didn't think that was a bad price considering how long Chrome 3 has been. Uh, since I, I just thought first is time that these would be worth it. So I got, you know, a couple of these, a couple of these. These were 15. These were 10. Thought that was a good deal. And then, of course, if you guys know me, as I walk around more and more, I ended up finding another vendor who had more fat packs, and they were $8 each. So I bought the rest of them. And there is four, eight. There's eight of these here. <coughs> Uh-oh, I coughed. Everybody's going to hate my video now. Uh, let's see here. We have... Uh, there were some online sets that were there that I don't have. This is the crossover set, I do believe. Pick that up. 20 bucks. I think this was 20 bucks. Could have been 30. I, do, I don't know. But it's the Comic Con 2019 Comic Con set. Don't think I had that, so I had to get that. This is the online set of Mr. and Mrs. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. I'm like 100% sure. 99. Let's just say that. And this one is still sealed, so I don't know what could be back here. Could be like some kind of refractor-ish thing or something. Who knows? And I guess I don't even know what set it is. We got it. We got it, guys. We have it. It can go into my online sets now. While I was standing in line waiting for the metal cards, I was given this. Uh, it's a Garbage Pail Kids, the Junk Cartel. It's in a graded case, which I think is cool. And this was from, uh, let's see here. Is his name on here? Let's open it up, because I did put this in there, just so I could try to keep everything together, so I could, you know, when I was making this video, I could say what was what. Uh, okay, that's blank. That doesn't help. But they do uh, openings and stuff away on whatnot, so... We're going to keep that QR code. But anyways, I appreciate this. Uh, we're going to... We're just going to have to throw that in the collection too. On to the next. Let's go. And the reason that he gave... Okay, so he gave me that. And then he said, I follow you on YouTube. And it was funny because he was watching a guy open up this trash can here. And this is from Legends. Right here. Legends Collectibles. Uh, they have these trash cans, and this is still sealed here. I mean, it's just a piece of tape, but I didn't I didn't open it or anything. Uh, they were 50 bucks, and supposedly there's anywhere from 50 to to $100 worth of stuff in here, and anything on here could be in here. Who knows what could be in here? We're going to open this up on the channel eventually. But while I was standing in line, and the guy from that gave me this, uh, was watching a video of them open this, and they actually pulled an OS1 pack out of this as we were standing there. And he was like, oh, I'll tell everybody to get into these. He was, And I showed him that I got this. And he was like, oh, I keep telling everybody to get them. And he's like, "He's like, what'd you get? And I said, I only open on YouTube. And he was like, oh, what's your channel? And I told him, he's like, yeah, I follow you. And this was with the trash can, too. I think that's kind of cool. Well, little Adam card. Anyway, so we'll see what comes on that. And one of the first purchases I had was, we all know, I love Chrome 4. They had four. Well, they had more. They were only 15 bucks. So I scooped up four blasters of Chrome 4. You know we're going to get into those eventually. Not right now, though. Ugh. All right. Picked up a collector box of Intergalactic. Hoping that we can pull something really cool out of here. Alright, now we get on to the artist stuff. This is the cool stuff. So, I had a bunch of cards in here that I had James Warhalla sign. And that was because he designed all these. And as he's going through and he's looking at them, he's having memories of, like, you know, drawing them and all that. Because some people didn't have, like, this one they didn't bring to him to have signed. But, uh, yeah, we have that, and we also got, let's lift this up, because this is a big one, the Trash Can Ken as Donald Trump, and this is like a mini poster sign, size, and also signed by Warhalla. Thought that was pretty cool, and to have some originals signed by him. Next, we move on to 
David Gross. So I have David Gross is an awesome dude. Just gonna just gonna throw that out there right now. Anyways, let's see here. I brought him a stack of 20 cards to sign, and he signed them all. And that's because you guys know, maybe you know, I was rainbowing this. Card is Dan Opener. Obviously, I mean the name Dan, duh. And, oh man, that one smudged. But anyways, what's in his belly? A burger, my favorite food. So, had to have that. Got it signed, so that can go as my artist signature card in the rainbow. I'm not worried about it. And he also had the rejects of Cheech and Chong. Had to have two of them. Thought that was really cool. Back in the day, you know, a lot of us were young. I was born in 79. So anyways, there's that. All by David Gross, great guy. All right, what's next? Okay, we got Joe Simcoe. He was at the dinner. I had some stuff for him to sign. Uh, I only got like three cards signed, I think. This was his promo card that there was only like a hundred of them. And I ended up scooping this one up. And there's a couple in there, I think the Ice Cream Sundae and the other one from Food Fight had him sign two of those for me. Uh, he was charging the first day for autographs, so I only had a couple of them signed. I was like, yeah, that's, that's I'll just do that. Anyways, so there's those. But while we were at the dinner, the very last giveaway was a t-shirt. And I'm trying to spread this out here. I've got to kind of hide that right there. They had a t-shirt. I know this doesn't look like much. It's a large, but I think it's a like it's a kid's large or something, or maybe a women's large. But if you scan that right there, I don't know if you guys can do it, but anyways, if you scan it, it does it's it makes the what's the word that they use for it? I don't, this thing? It takes you to a website, and then this picture it changes on your camera, and it like animates it, and it's it's really cool. It's just really cool. When I talked to Simcoe the next day. After I had won it, I had him sign the cards, which there's three of them in here, and he did that for me. And this is a pack from the Craniacs, I guess Series Zero. Obviously didn't open that. And when he signed it, I, I just I thought that was all awesome. But I did find out there's only like six of these shirts, and the five of them are in his family, and I have the other one. Awesome little pick. Whoa, whoa! Awesome little pickup from the show there and a nice little win all right and winding down here we are getting to the very end of the show as you guys know i have some sealed boxes of os and they are in acrylics but i didn't have a full box of series six well guess what we do now we got a full box of series six i need an acrylic for that and then that can get packed away. Got that for 250 bucks. The guy wanted 300 for it on Saturday. It was like Sunday. Everybody's packing up. And I'd spent a ton of money. And I'm like, listen, I need one. I'll Frankenstein it because there's like 12 or 13 packs in there. I'll just buy the packs eventually to fill up the box. Or you can sell me the you know, the rest of your open box or a full one. Just give me a deal. And he said, fine. 250 Full box. I said, Done. Wasn't even going to argue. And then we have... You guys You guys aren't going to believe this. This is where... This is where the highlight of this is. So hopefully you stayed to the end of the video. So... Bobby B. Was contacted by Tops. And they wanted him to do... These... It's, I guess it's called squishies. These are clay sculptures that are in here of Adam Bomb. And they were supposed to be a chase card. There's only 50 of them made. And the guy who got a hold of them wanted him to do it. Uh, so Bobby B did them. And it took like a year. And he finally got back to Tops. And the guy that asked him to do it was no longer working for Tops. And Tops decided to scrap the idea. So anyways, there's only 50 of these. As you can see, it's numbered right here. 31 of 50. 
obviously, if you guys can't figure out why I got the 31, I don't know what to tell you, but I had to have this. Bought this off of Bobby B. Uh, he still has some, so if you want to get one of these, uh, they are really, really cool. Get a hold of him. See if you can get your hands on one of these. There's only 50 of these, and it's a little sculpture inside of there. Absolutely astonishing. And then we have... While we were at the show, uh, obviously we got to meet Bobby B. And he said, do you have any of these? And I said, no. There's only 1,500 packs. And he said, well, here, have one. And I said, what? Okay. So I got a pack of these. He was also selling some sketch cards in that. And this was one of my favorite cards. And I, I don't remember if it was Oh the Horrible or Revenge of O the Horrible. Somebody let me know which one it was from. But this this card just really reached out to me. I really liked it. Um, in that set, it was like one of my favorite ones. And he had a sketch of it. And I was like, yep, buying that. Thank you. And as we go to leave, I couldn't believe it. Let's zoom this out a little bit. Just so you guys can get the full aspect of this. Bobby B hand sculpted this and he had it on his table the whole time. And when we went to go leave, uh, just the story behind it, the man has a heart of gold. Absolutely. And he was like, here, take this with you. It'll be safer with you than it will on the plane. And I almost cried. I'm not even kidding. I literally did the detail on this. The everything on this is, absolutely stunning and this is never leaving my collection i think this will this will have to go in the casket with me but just like lee gpk has one uh this is this is gonna hold some cool stuff inside of there but i just uh, bobby b i can't thank you enough man you seriously almost made me cry that day and I, i'm i'm just floored but you guys have seen everything. It's been 17 minutes. I didn't think it would take me that long, but it did. I knew it would because I don't shut up. And I coughed. And it's just, ah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down button two times. All right, we'll see you in the next one.